All right, guys, Supreme Kami here, and today going to be doing a video about the Flame Com team currently with uh, Annabella because she has not been released yet on Global Cyber. I think she should be releasing sometime soon, like next year. I think actually just January or even more February, uh, somewhere around that timeline. Probably January, I think, uh, just because they are releasing Lyra and then Tien currently, like December, like pretty soon. So um, I do expect Annabella to be releasing fairly soon. And then right now, I'm just pretty much going to be going over some of the equipment that I'm having. And then you guys can see that those equipment that I have currently are pretty bad. Uh, oh. There's only maybe one or two that i feel like is really good uh, but all the other one are so bad uh, so that's why you can see that my overall set is only at eighteen thousand. um uh, so right now we are going to be doing the frontier clash this is going to be showcasing up the overall build so i do have the six star lin six star zero and then a six star ruby to complete the um just activating that you know flame resident so i just start things out using the zero skills just because it does provide me with a quick shield 10 second shield and then this also provide me um i do have a six star so her his six star effects this actually grants me like you know instantly grant me like depending on how many omnium um, cubes i have uh instantly granting me a 10 percent uh two percent per cube so that's you know 10 in total so that's really good uh because prior to that you do have to kind of walk around to kind of collect those uh damaging orbs which are uh, those attacking orbs which i think is so much better now um so i i would definitely say zero is definitely really underrated um as far as over character people might pull him and be like oh my gosh i, I got zero i got shafted whatever but uh, he's actually really reliable um that 10 second shoot can definitely serve really good uh, especially when we are fighting this dude right here um that can really wreck you when you do that lightning strike whatever so just having that 10 second window for you to like survive is really really good uh but the unfortunate factor is zero does not provide burn uh because ruby actually gets another effects when your enemy is burned uh she gets another i believe it's 40 percent damage increase or attacks or whatever so it's, it gets more powerful which i think annabella is gonna fit into that slide really nicely uh, i think her overall kit just allow ruby to discharge more which i think it's gonna be really beneficial. So when Annabella comes out, whenever she, she comes out in the near future, I'm gonna to try to see if I can, you know, six star her, get her full major C because her major C actually works off the explode. So that is really nice. Uh, because I check all the major C that comes out, let's say for your 2.2, like 2.3 and stuff, like those character major C, they're all off field, like most of them are. So you are getting a whole lot of benefit from them. So that's gonna be something that I'm going to try to yeah, achieve, right? Uh, but right now we are gonna be fighting Valkyrie. So I think she's gonna be pretty much the last boss that we fight. And uh, you guys can see that I do take a lot of damage with, the, with this overall team. Uh, just because this team does kind of lack that, let's say sustainability, which, you know, obviously Zero does kind of provide that a little bit. But there are definitely some certain situations where you die, which I think I die once here, and then the next fight, the fourth boss, I actually just cut the entire fight because I keep dying, which we end up not finishing it. So I think towards the later segment, we're just gonna be fighting the uh, boy Rift. I think that's you know just another example of showing out this team you know could be better. Um, you know, being the main DPS as, as it should be. Uh, I feel like this team does lack a little bit right um i guess as for the rotation let's kind of talk about that as well currently right now since i'm using let's say the, uh, you know zero ruby lin um so how i was starting it since i do have an a, a6 for for um zero so i do pop this um, skills and then immediately go into lin to activate two of her mainland realm just to get those out of the way and get those you know off your damage going on and then immediately after that i do switch back over to ruby and start doing her thing um as far as the major scene that now i'm using with ruby um i used to have i used to use for her uh, her four piece matrix but uh, after i got a little bit more as far as samir matrix i feel like it's a little bit better um although i feel like samir's matrix could be a little bit underwhelming at times when you're not getting a full damage uh, i think right now i have it at two stars so i'm getting up to a 16 percent so that's actually really good but that is only really good when you do have it fully built up uh, because it does drop up every second if you're not attacking so that could be a downside but um i think it's definitely better than what i have for let's say 
regular Ruby four pieces because um, she's only providing a twelve percent. For because I didn't get any stars on Ruby's cube or on on Ruby's matrices, so that's why I'm mean, like, why not just use uh, Samir for the time being? Uh, until we get Annabella, her I think her matrix is just really really good. So that's definitely gonna be something that I prioritize. And I die right here. I'm gonna be dying like literally right now. Uh, because I am the one that's kind of aggroing the boss, and there you go, I die. So I think up next, we are gonna head straight into the Void Rip. Uh, I'm just gonna be transferring over there. And honestly, Void Rip is not anything too crazy nowadays. I think it's pretty easy. <laughs> I say easy, and then we, we, we out here taking a lot of damage. Uh, but because I believe the effects or, or, or the buff the enemy is getting is like, it actually reduces our health. So that's why. Um, but other than that, in a situation like this, uh, you guys can see that we're healing consistently and we're blocking damage. Hello, our absorbing nose. Like, whoa, whoa, like, this is good. This is like, you know, you can say copium, you know, self sustain flame team. It, it, it's good. It's good. It, it, it's, it's not bad at all. Uh, but you can definitely, let's say, sub in for, I don't know. Like, I never got King. Like, I, I want to use King because King does actually burn. But for whatever reason, I never pull King. Like, I, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I never pull him. Um, I pull a few copies of, let's say, uh, for Huma, but I never use her because, I don't know, it's not it's not giving me that really self-sustainability, which, I mean, like, look at that. We're we, we healing. Uh, I think someone else is actually healing us. That's why. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I think this overall team is definitely right now currently really peak before Annabella comes out. Can I even say peak? Is this team even peak right now? Probably not. Um, but yeah, overall it's pretty good. I think we are about to end this off. Um, just gonna do a few more combos here, and then we are over at the last cell bar, and then that's gonna be pretty much it. So, um, hopefully this video just gonna show you guys that Flame Team is not dead. It's still pretty good, especially with Ruby. She's still gonna be that main DPS for the time being. Because I think right now in, let's say, CN version, they are not, they haven't really released any other Let's say DPS Tide Flame, um, they are releasing a new tank. But um, other than that, that's going to be pretty much it for me. Just, you know, me just talking about the Flame Team overall and, you know, pretty much my setup. But uh, other than that, that's going to be pretty much it for me. And then I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.